In this video, I want to give a brief overview of the PIP2 IP3 DAG signaling cascade. So, what's going on with that cascade or that pathway? We have a hormone bind a G protein coupled receptor, just like we've been talking about. And that same idea, a conformational change activates this G protein, causing the alpha subunit to be have its GDP replaced with the GTP and then it's activated. In this case, though, with this cascade, the G protein is not a G stimulatory, it's a GQ, and I'm not exactly sure what that stands for, but just be aware of that difference there. So what does this G alpha subunit do, or what's the effector enzyme in this case? The effector enzyme is no longer uh, adenylate cyclase. In this case, it's uh, PLC, or phospholipase C. I've drawn a little sort of legend here for all these different abbreviations. So what PLC does, or phospholipase C, what it does is it cleaves um, PIP2, which is phospho phosphatidyl inositol 45 bisphosphate which is this thing here, this entire structure here. It cleaves it into DAG, which I've drawn here, and this little yellow circle, which is IP3. So DAG is diacylglycerol, and IP3 is inositol 1,4,5-triphosphate. So both of these things here, let me note that here actually, this and this are both second messengers. So now what these two things do is IP3 goes over to the endoplasmic reticulum and it binds a, a calcium ion channel. And what it does is it allows the calcium from inside of the end, endoplasmic reticulum, specifically the, the, the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum, and it allows these little uh, calcium ions here um, it allows them to flow out into the cytosol. And some of them, if they get the chance even, what they'll do is they'll actually bind this thing over here, which I'll get to in just a second. So diacylglycerol goes over to PKC, which is protein kinase C. So protein kinase C um, is what it, it's a it's a protein kinase right just like we've talked about protein kinase A before it adds phosphates to target proteins so these calcium ions uh, help activate help uh, help DAG activate protein kinase C so the calcium ion and the DAG both work together to activate protein kinase C and once protein kinase C is activated what it does is it triggers the phosphorylation of that target protein or a particular target protein and that triggers a cellular response. Now this is of course the general scheme so it, it's different for a variety of cases. This actual signaling cascade or pathway is uh, in a bunch of different cells. So depending on the cell that's actually being bound uh, and the hormone of course being bound, binding the receptor there could be a variety of different things happening in this. Okay, So I hope that brief overview was helpful. I am a tutor. If you live in Southern California, feel free to contact me via email at moofuniversity at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.